it took us a long time, thousands of years, before we kind of stumbled upon a phenomenon called growth. And this is in all continents, in all corners of the world, we are seeing growth. Industry has a big job to do, tackling the challenge of, on the one hand, growth, on the other hand, growing responsibly when it comes to natural resources. How do we keep growth and performance in a sustainable way, especially if we want emerging economies to join and rise in their own ways? Is there a role for a private enterprise in this? If you, as a company, have competences and have a value chain that can address any of those issues, you should take them as an opportunity to innovate. We basically decided to become a zero solid waste company by 2011. We'll become the first company in the region to become water neutral by 2012. These companies have learned how to innovate in constrained environments. So they don't look at the, only at the resources they have, they look at how can we tackle constraints and use that to, to create innovation. We have started generating power from the waste hot gases of a cement plant and by doing that we have become a carbon efficient power generating company. We are a CO2 positive. Through our forest we capture more CO2 than what our production and distribution generates. Agriculture uses almost 70 to 80 percent of the freshwater resources. Now, our irrigation system save almost 50% of that water. Imagine a world where if you can save 50% of agriculture, then you have enough water for everything else, industry, growth, urbanization. The main purpose of, of our company is, of course, be profitable, but creating value both for the environment and for society, that's key. For millions of small farmers, we are allowing them to use less of all the resources and produce far more. You can do growth, you can do development, and you can do that while still trying to create more prosperity for the people at the bottom of pyramid. With the same rigorosity that we have measured our economic indicators, we now do so the same thing with our environmental and social indicators. These will be the enterprises that become the prototypical role models of the coming one or two decades. It's giving us a new competitive age in the global marketplace. We are able to convince more and more companies to embrace this philosophy. We will have a better world in which we can live. There's an African proverb I learned which says, if you want to walk fast, walk alone. If you want to walk far, walk together. 